This is the Goshawk OP100 Swirling Flame Alcohol Burner. I've been using this for well over a year now, and I'm ready to give you my thoughts on it. If you're interested, keep watching. Very right, quickly, just before we get started, I want to thank Goshawk for sending out the OP100 Swirling Flame Alcohol Burner so that I could share it with you. What we'll do is quickly go down to the tabletop. I'm going to go over some of its key features. I'll put the specifications for it in the video description, but I want to talk about its use and how I've been testing it out. And then, of course, we'll do a demonstration with it. All right, so once again, this is the Goshawk OP100 Swirling Flame Alcohol Burner. So let me quickly give you the specifications for it. It is made made in Australia by Goshawk and it is made from a hard anodized aircraft grade aluminum alloy. It is 2.83 inches in diameter which is 72 millimeters. It is 1.73 inches high which is 44 millimeters and it weighs in at 2.36 ounces or 67 grams. It has a fuel capacity of 2 ounces or 60 milliliters. Now let me bring the Trangi into the picture so we can do some comparisons because I know that's what a lot of people were asking is it a good substitute or replacement for the Trangia? Well, yes and no. Let me explain. To start with, let's do the sizes. Sizes are virtually identical, or height, I should say, is virtually identical between the two of them. There might be a millimeter more height in with the Trangia, but not significant at all. Diameter, close but not quite the same. You can see the swirling flame is a little bit larger in diameter than the Trangia there. So those are the comparisons size-wise. Oh, the weight. The Trangia is significantly heavier, heavier at 3.9 ounces or 111 grams. Uh, so it's up to you if the weight is a, makes much difference to you. It doesn't really to me, but it's just interesting to know, of course. So what else is similar between the two of them? Well, the caps. The caps are Ha for the Trangia has the well-known rubberized ring that will prevent leakage of any excess fuel that's left behind in the stove after use. Well, the same thing is true for the swirling flame. It has a silicone gasket on it, but one thing you can do with this cap that you can't do with the Trangia is that you can use it to snuff out the stove as well. If you want to snuff out the Trangia, you use the snuffer cap which is also doubles as a simmer ring as well. So here's of interest is that this snuffer caps slash sniffer ring for the Trangia will also work on the swirling flame. So if you're interested in having something that you can use to create a simmer ring, you can purchase these on a secondary market and they will work just well, just fine with that one as well. Okay, so those are a couple of the similarities. Now, here's one of the, some of the most significant differences between the two of them is how they are used with some type of stove or pot stand in order to uh, put a pot or pan over top of them. The Trangia is designed with this rim around the outside at the top here, and that is, is what is used to secure this in everything that it is designed to be used in. So if it's uh, going to be used in the Trangia 25 or 27 cook kits, it resides and rests on that rim. Same thing can be said for uh, stoves like uh, the Gen 2 Firebox or the Nano. They are all designed to make use of this rim as are a number of other stoves where there's usually a rod or, or a bar that goes across to uh, hold the stove into the perfect position and the perfect gap between the burner and the top of the, where the pot is. That doesn't exist on the swirling flame, so you're going to have to use something else. And what I discovered is I tried a number of different things to make this work, and here's what I've come up with. So the first thing that I wanted to know would work would be a set of these titanium crossbars that are often used with the Trangia, originally designed to be used with the Evernew ever new titanium alcohol burner. They can be used also with the Trangia because of the similar uh, the size nature. Works very well. A little slows things down a little because the pot gap is significantly different. But it will fit on top of the swirling flame. The only problem is, is that it's not stable there. As you can see, it moves around freely, so it would be a little bit unsafe to use it. The reason it does that is because the shoulders of the swirling flame are sloped and rounded, so there's no flat surface for it to rest on. So this one is out of the picture. Now, I did come up with something that was both inexpensive and simple to use, and it's this two-piece pot stand that you can purchase on Amazon, AliExpress, probably other places as well. It just has a couple of rivets, spring steel, and once you get it together, there you go. You just set it down over top of the burner and you've got a good pot gap of just over an inch to an inch and a quarter. The only downside to using this is that you have to use a pot that's larger in diameter 
than the Potsdam. And so the smaller 750 mil or the GSI bottle cups won't work with this because they're going to be smaller. You might be able to put a couple rods across and hold them up that way, but then you're also reducing the height in the pot cap and therefore reducing inefficiency. Now, what I did find that worked pretty good was this. This is the Firebox Nano. This is my stainless steel version for it. Now, if you're going to use this with a Trangia, then that's what these are for. These are known as fire sticks. They come included with the burner so that'll hold the Trangia up at just the right pot gap. They go through holes on the sides and they will create the gap that will be uh, the rim of the Trangia will set on. Can't use those with the uh, swirling flame, but that's quite okay because this will drop down into the bottom of the nano and actually sits at a better height than had it been any higher. In fact, now we're at about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half, and that is actually a more efficient, more uh, quicker uh, burning uh, height than it would be if it was just at the one inch that the transient normally sits at. So I actually like this combination right here. In fact, this is the combination that I got the best boil times, which we'll talk about now. So as far as boil times go, I started it with the standardized test, which is two cups of water at room temperature using one ounce of methyl alcohol. I used the Firebox Nano as my pot stand slash stove to hold it, the, uh, the, the burner inside. I used an 11 centimeter diameter titanium pot, I got a boil time of 5 minutes 32 seconds and a run out of 10 minutes 14. Very, very good performance. I really was quite impressed by that. It's actually much better than the Trangia could do as well. Now, what I discovered is that with a run out of 1014, it's not quite double the time of the 532 boil set system. So I couldn't go to a full liter of water, but I could easily bring 750 mils or three cups of water to a boil with one ounce of methyl hydrate. So I think that's pretty good performance right there. All right, I think what I'll do now is I'll set this up to show you it in action, and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, so the point of this demonstration is just to show you the flame pattern of the Swirling Flame OP100 from Goss Hawk. In fact, that you'll see why it got that name, Swirling Flame, once it comes to a full bloom. I'm not re replicating the boil time. I just wanted you to see this in action. So I'll give you a couple different views of it. So I've turned all the lights off in the room except one. I want to light the burner up. Let it get started. I'll turn the light off. It does take a second to prime, but not very long. And already I'm starting to see the swirling action. The jets are not firing hard yet. By the way, there are 10 jets and they're all sitting just inside of the lip of the burner and they are facing inward. So what you'll see in a moment as the jets light up is you'll see the jets of flame uh, not only facing inwards, but facing at an angle. And that's what causes the swirling flame. And here they go. They're starting to light up now. It takes a second for it to really heat up and come to its peak efficiency. And the jets are now lighting. I will in one second just bring the camera to a different position so you can get a really good view of what the vortex looks like that this will create. So now that the jets have lit, it does have to really heat up the sides of the burner and it will come into its full efficiency. And it's starting to do that now. All right, you should be able to see it quite clearly now, the pattern of the flame and how the, the jets are all firing inwards at an angle, creating that vortex. Really very, very efficient burn. All right, that's basically all I wanted to show you with the stove. Now we can wrap this video up. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Goshawk OP100 Swirling Flame Alcohol Burner. You know, um, it may not be as versatile as the Trangia is in terms of how many different stoves it can be used in, but its efficiency and design make it well worth considering. It is lighter, it is faster, and it uses less fuel to get the job done than the does the Trangia. So I think that makes it well worth considering. In fact, I really like using this. I'll probably use this as often as I do the Trangia, depending, of course, again, what burner I'm going to be, or what stove or pot stand I'm going to be combining it with. Now, there is one thing I did not mention that may make this a little bit more versatile, and that is Goshawk now has a purpose-built windscreen that can be used with the OP100. It is made from titanium. I don't have it in my possession, so I couldn't show it to you today, but I hopefully will be getting one at some point in the near future because I think that would just make this that much more versatile because then you won't be relying on something that it wasn't designed to work with.
wet. Okay, that's everything I have for you today on the Goshawk OP Swirling Flame, uh, the Goshawk OP100 Swirling Flame Alcohol Burner. I'll be putting all the specifications and the links for it in the video description. But if you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comments section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.